nice little present from Beck, eh? The trial is over. Judge Zivan found my companions guilty and sentenced them to death. They were taken to the cells below the hall while preparations are made for the execution. I'm working on a distraction to cover our escape. Did you find the key? Is this really the time for idle chit-chat? Oh, very well. We are master conjurers. Our job is to stabilize the portal so that more forces and supplies can be brought from Nern. Until we do that, our troops will be at a distinct disadvantage here. An excellent suggestion. There's no time to waste. Let's get inside and free the others. I thought this was going to be boring. Off with you, sweet! Come and be judged, Moses. Excellent. Free my companions. I'll guard our way out of here. Lord no guard. Grab that key on the table and open these cages. Ah, oh, the fresh air of freedom. Thanks for opening that cage. Guilty. Me. I'll make them rue the day. Rue, I say. Well, what are you waiting for? Open the rest of the cages, if you please. The trial was a farce. They just wanted to make us squirm. Judge Zivin went on and on about fairness and equitable treatment, but he decided we were guilty from the start. Great rest. Thank you. This one thought we were done for after Judge Zivin sentenced us to death. 
How do we get out of the Hall of Judgment? They're not going to let us simply walk out of here. Malkur? Well, why didn't you say so? Tarami wondered what happened to him. But this one has had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. His death. Now, you won't escape. No one ever escapes my judgment. execute you myself. You've been judged and found wanting, Sivan. Enough fun and games. Let's get out of here. The diversion I set up is working. Hurry before the Daedra notice and come after us. Oh. Ooh, that was a bit of a warm up. We fought well, didn't we? I think we might just have a chance at turning this disaster into a successful operation. We've opened a portal to the city. Feel free to use it if you want. We're in your debt. Without your help, the others would still be locked away, or worse. We'll get to safety and begin stabilizing the portals to Nern right away. All right, let's head out. We've got portals to stabilize, you know. What is it? I left my family back in Windhelm. Yeah! I was beginning to think this fight was hopeless. With the great shackle destroyed, we might just have a chance here. I wasn't sure what it would be like.
fine. I'll handle this, sir. You can come out and see in a moment. So, someone has come to help us at last. We're out here in the middle of Cold Harbor, and that's the best question you can come up with? I am most definitely not talking to myself. I am speaking to the alchemist. Be quiet, you mangy cat. I can't hear myself think with all that racket. Patience, sir. I'll explain everything. I am with the Mages Guild. We stepped through the portal and wound up in this vile laboratory. Daedra experimented on us. They merged our two souls. Now we're wasting away as this soul meld kills us. Ah, to see out of Khajiit eyes again. The hate's being caged in that dark place. Yes, this one is pretty famous. Perhaps you have heard of Zer. But Zer must tell you, this soul meld is killing us. Will you help us? Will you unmeld our souls? Unmeld this soul to a world? Pardon, the dwarven device that caused this is inside the laboratory. But Robo blocks the way. Collect Zer's notes and a bottle of pearl tincture. With those, this one can make a potion that will get you past the rubble. Questions are good. Ask and ask again. That is the systematic method of experimentation. Remember that you must know the rules before you can successfully break them. Their specialty is transmutation. Change one thing into another. So, not too difficult to change you from large to small. Then you can slip past the obstacles that block the entrance. Zer never said it would be easy, Dark Elf. Mind your tongue. Unfortunately, no. The soul melt weakens us, and we must conserve our strength. With the recipe and the ingredients, this one can make a transmutation potion and exert almost no energy whatsoever. A much better approach at this time, yes? Oh yes, we came to defeat the evil Moloch Ball. Or was it uh, many Marco? Zer forgets. So many bad things start with the letter M. But something went wrong and Godress and this one ended up here. That's when the Daedra melted our souls. You have no idea what it feels like to have a Khajiit scratching around inside your head. I know you said you were sorry, but the question has been asked. One of us is disorganized and enjoys experimenting with dwarfen machinery. The resulting explosion reduced the entryway to a pile of rubble and sent our supplies in all directions. Safe enough. We'll make our way to the entryway. We can manage a simple illusion to mask our presence. I wish we weren't so weak, however. I never realized. I never realized how my ability to perform magic defined me. Now that I cannot do the things that once came so easily to me, I almost don't know who I am. Having a talking cat inside my head doesn't help much either. A few of us arrived together, but only the alchemist and I survived the experiments. Zer's explosion had one desirable side effect. It destroyed our Dremora captors. We have information vital to the Mages Guild. Should we escape? this predicament.
like a mummy. Yeah! Keep knocking them around! <laughs> this one used an illusion spell. Very little. It, it is good to be out and about. Ah, Cold Harbor is an inhospitable place, but this one is adaptable. Zer thought this was where he left the tincture, so I came to investigate. Don't tell Gadras that Zer was here. A simple illusion spell protected me, but... Godris gets worried. Me? I like to explore. This one has always enjoyed trying new and different things. But this situation... It is very strange. Very awkward. Is that thought me, sir? Or me, Godris? This one can never be certain where his thoughts end. And Godris's begin. Uh, very confusing, yes? Zar told you our friend would find us, Godress. You worry too much. Godress is upset because we had to hide behind some rocks. Undignified, he said. Well, Zar says that being eaten by a deformed creature is even more undignified. Quiet, Godress. This one knows what he's doing. This is most fragrant work, my friend. Most fragrant. Zar shall draft the potion immediately. It should make you slightly smaller. Certainly small enough to squeeze through the rubble. Uh, long enough to slip into the laboratory. A few minutes, uh, give or take. Now, let the think. Was it uh, six or seven drops of tincture?
Zer thinks he saw some dried skate crow over here. Ah, yes, here it is. Ah, Zer's finest potion yet. You will drink it now, yes? This grows more taxing by the hour. Here is the potion. I hope Zer didn't cut any corners, but knowing him, it probably tastes terrible. Yes, sir, I'll be sure to mention it. I am not a mixer of potions, and I don't want to debate the merits of alchemy with Zer again. But the cat knows what he's doing. Inside, look for my notebook. It lists what you need to craft the antipodal rods. Rods that will reverse the soul meld. Just find the components and craft the rods. We will try to recuperate and regain enough strength to teleport ourselves inside. If you have questions, please ask them before you drink the potion. Find the metallurgy workshop. My notebook should be there, placed neatly on a workbench. It contains a list of what you need to create the antipodal rods. Gather the items and craft the rods. It shouldn't be a problem. The laboratory has a forge. Just follow the directions and apply the proper catalyst. The rods should be able to withstand the reversal process. After you forge the rods, meet me by the overseer's atelier. The potion will work, you'll see. And know that I am grateful for your help. We both are. Teleport spell worked. This one is here. Be careful, friend. The dwarven constructs have a weekend. The hate standing in the green goo. No amount of licking gets it out of one's fur. Godress worries so much. 
He wanted to make sure you found the catalyst. The catalyst makes the rod strong enough to withstand both magicka and machinery. Two things this one likes very much. The basic ingredients can be melted, but without a catalyst to imbue them with strength and elemental... Alchemy is not boring, Godris. Ah, oh, very well. Godris wrote about a proper catalyst for the antipodal rods. He wants you to read his notes. After the soul meld, the Overseer ignored us. The Dwarven constructs were inactive, so we were able to work here in relative peace. Yes, Godris. Everything was fine until Zer exploded something. The Dark Elf sure knows how to hold a grudge. Many things. The last one was pretty spectacular. It was an accident, of course. Godris was so mad because we were forced outside, but it proved his first suggestion for a catalyst didn't work. So, the experiment was successful. 